Le prochain artiste ce soir, c'est Jason Blackwood Summit. C'est un des de fondateurs de Community, uh, Community Vibe Collective, qui jouait toutes les semaines en fait uh, à les Beaux-Bars, aussi à uh, Café Résonance. Uh, c'est un collectif uh, artist, artistique important à Montréal. Uh, Jason aussi un poète qui parle de, la, de les luttes pour la justice, aussi parler de toutes les, les de vie euh, aussi. <rire> um, et um, Jason, c'est un artiste extraordinaire qui a aussi participé dans le collectif Nomadic Massive pour beaucoup des années. Um, the next artist is Jason Blackbird Salmon, who's an old friend and, and an artist who is one of the founders of the Community Vibe Collective. And um, he's also a poet who talks about struggles in our society, but also of life and uh, has also participated for many years in the Nomadic Massive Collective. So thanks again for being here, and please welcome Jason Blackbird. Good evening. How are you? Before I begin, I just want to say thank you to Stefan for having me. It's always a pleasure to be asked, a pleasure to be here, and uh, I'm going to begin. Lend me a psychedelic dream. Lend me pieces of daylight. Lend me a destruction sweeter than anything I can remember. Lend me open sounds, a courtyard, Sedwick Ave. Bury this knowledge in sound, a beat that repeats a rhythm that has a mind of its own. Let the mind grow. Spread to all five burrows like a virus, black fire, wild stone, rhythm for talk, speak softly, take over the world. It was so easy to know you. Once I began listening to myself, the verse became free. 
psychedelic colors and psychedelic graves. Daisies growing wild from the barrel of a gun. Shoot stars. Love is an idle threat. Shout to the world who is not like I when delivering themselves to themselves, a glass filled with tears, this venom filled with love. I love her so much because she lets me know that I am fading. What is there to own but hearts? Hearts to all the work. Chain us to betrayal and on the shadow set us free, growling, Midnight, rescue oblivion, wanting more, giving the gift of time. Ghetto codes and gray days. The search for search, the sound of sound. Find yourself in flames, evenings on pause, part of something, a part and in parts, open the first door, let yourself in. voyage began in my mind, the journey ended in my heart, when I realized I was one, at one and inside of everyone, African, nothing more than sensations and shades, fear, vengeance, love and admiration, happiness to eclipse all else. I see Africa every day, in her eyes, the silence of her speech, the ancient rain, rhythm to hide me and rhythm to find me, broken or reborn. Would you recognize your own mother? If you saw her in the glory of her youth, all that beauty, all these shades. It was a young woman that birthed you, full, voluptuous, strong, the prime in her prime, African. This quivering daylight star nurtures you with her symphony sweet, but your love and respect for her are so wavering. And so you, like your ancestors before you, live on sound, without food, or shelter, sound becomes your guide so that the warrior in Africa and the Africa and the warrior may live and not simply survive. Claim it. 
your name, your true name. Tribes describe you. You are lost and yet found. You will lose the world's riches and yet find yourself and forever be free. I don't remember anything, who I am, where I come from, what smiles sound like, the smell of rain, children's laughter, one man, one dream, one breath, window and mirror, dragon and phoenix, as easy as this battle between love and hate. Young champions with hearts like sponge, roses, skin made from thorns. Talk to me. Tell me. How magical are you really? How solid is your mind? This wave of curiosity. Explosive happiness, lightning eyes, both so restless, you and I. You should just come home. Live by the river as impatient as these rivers in my mind. Let someone know that you are here. Awake in this darkness. Mountains in the mouth. Sunsets riding. West. How are you guys doing? <laughs> okay. We've now reached the technology part of the evening. Um, I'm going to do some new poems that uh, I have yet to memorize. And um, the first one is um, from my friend Kai, and uh, Kai Kello. And it's called In a Kai Style. And uh, it's self-explanatory. Revolutionary consumerism, revolutionary trophy wife, revolutionary product placement, revolutionary sense of entitlement, revolutionary white privilege, revolutionary ignorance of your own history, revolutionary ignorance of those that paved the way for the rights that you enjoy. Revolutionary generational contempt. 
revolutionary love for your oppressor, revolutionary becoming your oppressor, revolutionary love for ostentatious symbols of wealth and privilege, revolutionary cultural appropriation, revolutionary racist sports teams, revolutionary ascent from and return to poverty, revolutionary institutional racism, revolutionary oppressive beauty standards, revolutionary soundtrack to faux rebellion, revolutionary trust fund, revolutionary sports car, revolutionary reality show, revolutionary vanity clothing label, revolutionary celebrity, revolutionary marketing plan, revolutionary faux feminism, revolutionary mansion, revolutionary mental and spiritual slavery, revolutionary selfie, revolutionary global tracking technology, revolutionary othering, revolutionary gentrification, revolutionary hipster, revolutionary fixie bike, revolutionary acquittal of known murderers, revolutionary pillaging of your own hero's legacy, revolutionary mistress, revolutionary mammy, revolutionary racial profiling, revolutionary prison industrial complex, revolutionary new Jim Crow, revolutionary transatlantic slave trade, revolutionary self-loathing, revolutionary exploitation for profit, revolutionary co-opting of revolutionary struggles as a means to further oppression. I think we are at a very, very, very interesting time um, to be alive on this planet. Things are going to get very, very interesting. Um, they are already at this point very interesting and some of it is going to be very ugly, um, but some of it will become much more beautiful than what we've ever seen. And we need to hold on to one another um, because um, as much as the revolution will not be televised, much of it is about to go prime time and we need to prepare ourselves for what is about to happen because the, <laughs> the axis is shifting. I can feel it every day. Things are changing and we need to prepare. We need to say to ourselves, what side of history do we want to be on? What do we want to tell our children? When they ask us, where were you when this happened? And not be able to, uh, not have to flinch about those things and know where we stood when these things happened. Um, so, courage à tout le monde. This poem is called Release. When the courage came, when forgiveness came, it was just the way that you felt. The work was done. More than the time had passed, knowing what you've lost, knowing what you've gained. When the light of your spirit changes, 
the body becomes a lantern with lantern eyes and lantern hands I can now see and feel the light in so many things the heart like a heater a thumping stomping flame just love just love you see what I see how beautiful and delightful she is how much I love her how much better she has made every day to bond with sunlight to lie beside her breathing easy now the book burned so that we could write anew there is sweetness in this tribulations end this understanding the eyes the heart see clear survival more than fitness the promises to yourself you kept I have one more technological poem, and then I will get back to the non-technological poems. Um, is it criticism, or is it condemnation, or is it I, th I think I think it's a bit of everything. I think it's a bit of everything. I have to, I have to criticize when things are done wrong and they affect me, and they hurt me, and they make the world that I live in more difficult to live in. But I have to also acknowledge the possibility of what can be. This is where we are. I acknowledge you in this moment. And I also acknowledge what can be. I am always an optimist. But we are at a point now where we have to stand up and speak. There is no choice in this point on this planet Earth. This is where we are. So we have to prepare our hearts and our minds to listen and to speak and to hear to one another because there's only one planet and ultimately one race. We have to live and work together. So I criticize, but I also acknowledge in this moment, in this life, because I want more for everyone. Somewhere between Sonny Rollins and Muhammad Ali. Somewhere between the Congo and the Williamsburg Bridge. Nowhere near thieves or pirates. Nowhere near minstrel, white or black, crowning a modern age with post-modern opportunism. Somewhere at home with the task at hand. 24, 12. Somehow, all the wounds turn reparations. Salt water tears turn silver and gold, the kind of gold that can only be spent by the soul. Battles for those that endure, never having been swift until now. Decades like minutes. Love like war with everything that is not love. One moment of concentration. Enough concentration to make centuries melt. A heavyweight champion, light as love in the circle, 
in the square, staring at stone. Your heart, the only adversary you have ever known. Promised lands and promised bands. Everything to change and all that you are to rejoice in it. Love, what greater mystery, what silent sensation to haunt this happiness, bleak evening hours and beauty to bind us, aspirations and expectations, eyes wide open and interlocking, remember the best of time. The measure of a man is kindness. Not every man has the strength to be kind. Not every man has knowledge of kindness. So many handle this world with hot hands. Compassion but a shadow. Kindness but a crime. How do we know that we are in love? Is it in the heart or in the head? Perhaps it is in what the head and heart say to one another when they agree. One not overwhelming the other, but both being overwhelmed together. Unity. Only in honesty is their kindness, only in every attempt to show sincerity. I awoke this morning and I remembered you with thanksgiving, with hope, with joy, without malice, with love. I have one more poem before I um, step from the stage. So I want to again say thank you to Stefan for inviting me. Thank all of you for coming out and sharing your time and your energy and um, this room, this evening. You could have been anywhere, but you're here, and I appreciate it. So this last piece uh, is about Ferguson, Missouri, and what's happening. And uh, it's something that, for me, um, 
is very personal, as I explained in the interview I did with Stefan a few weeks ago for CKUT. Um, it's a poem that will change because the story is still being written and we need to decide what ending we want there to be f to this story. Um, the ending can be much brighter than what it looks like right now, but I know that things um, cannot continue this way. Um, as I said, I'm an optimist and I want to be hopeful, so um, I, I feel like a lot of this is about being open. Um, And uh, if I can explain one more thing before I go, I do want to use the analogy my wife uses often to explain um, things in relation to race. And the analogy is mosquitoes. Um, how many of you have been to uh, a tropical climate? Please raise your hand. Okay. How many of you, uh, when you go, get stung by whatever it is. Mosquitoes, sand flies, whatever. How many of you get stung? How many of you know other people who you go with who never get stung? Getting stung is as real for those people who get stung as those that didn't get stung. Um, that's one way to look at it, right? Thank you. And of course, if you meet my wife, she will explain it much better than I did, so. <laughs> Her name is Zena Smith, she's a poet, a uh, part of community, and uh, if you ever Bump into her, ask her about the mosquitoes, and she'll explain it much better than I did. Um, but once again, thank you for coming out. She is more beautiful than anything. Although the sky is falling, all the inside dogs let go. Let yourself be better than you've ever been for her sake and yours. The music up, the noise, the damage down. Talk about a heat wave. Talk about hands up, guns up. Guns doing more talking than the will to live. 400 years later, still deciding whether to treat a boy like a man or a dog or the boy that he is in the space of six seconds. Again, 
against. Time is neither speeding up nor slowing down. Time ain't saying nothing. Ain't nothing left to do but get ready to describe the indescribable this fear of everything. You afraid of me when I should be afraid of you. Staten Island, Brooklyn, St. Louis, Detroit, Oakland, New Orleans, Africville, Morano, Cotenej, NDG, Burgundy. Watch me, watch you, afraid and weary. Know that it's okay. To be angry, upset, frustrated, confused. Normalizing pain, depression. Things as simple as human sentiment. Let a boy grow up to be a man. Never cut a tree before. 